Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second talk of this uh, second afternoon session. The speaker is going to be Abu Zer Yakayamaz. And um, I'm very pleased to introduce him. And um, he's, he's a chairperson of QWorld, the founder, and um, also a researcher at the Center of Quantum Computer Science at the University of Latvia. And um, um, this event is co-organized by QWorld, so we are very, very happy to see him presenting uh, our, our organization and our activities. So, Abu, please go ahead. The floor is yours. Okay. Uh, thank you, Aurel. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, also, thanks to Querec and Hamilton Consulting uh, to organize this event. Uh, it seems a uh, big success already. Uh, so, uh, in my presentation, I will try to introduce QWORD, what we are doing, how we started uh, shortly. So, I try to prepare as much less, as much as less uh, slides, but uh, okay, I hope I will manage. Uh, so, here uh, in the title, uh, you see our motto. Uh, we started with uh, this motto from the beginning. It was approximately three years ago. So uh, our aim, uh, first of all, create a global movement and we want to promote uh, quantum computing and technologies. Also, as I said, as in the motto, we kind of invite everyone uh, to take part in the second quantum revolution. Uh, of course, by education and through the education and also research. Uh, so this is our motto uh, and this is our aim. Uh, overall, we want to create a global uh, awareness. Uh, now I will share uh, what we have done. And uh, more or less, I think we are uh, on a good path. So uh, very shortly here, you see our activities. Uh, first of all, we are a nonprofit. And uh, until now, uh, none of us, our event or uh, program, etc., cetera, uh, with money, all was free until now. So we had uh, several uh, global and local events. Uh, we started with on-site events, uh, but due to pandemic, we also switched online and then also reach uh, more and more people all around the world. Uh, here you see the list. Uh, we are like organizing or conducting workshops, uh, courses, training programs, uh, internship, research projects, study groups, science days, uh, including such days, uh, webinars, talks, hackathons, jams and similar events. Uh, in parallel to this, we are also establishing uh, local quantum groups. We call them uh, quantum cousins uh, or shortly Q cousins. So also shortly our numbers uh, until now, uh, locally or globally, uh, we organized more than 100 events or programs or projects. Uh, so this not includes uh, like talks, etc. These are really events taking a few days, sometimes months. And until now, uh, we provided uh, around 5,000 diplomas or certificates. And in local events, uh, I think we reach uh, th uh, 30 countries around and uh, around 200 interns joined our internship programs. Uh, internally, we trained around 100 mentors and instructors. And also we have uh, more than 20 these local groups, quantum cousins. Uh, so uh, how we started, let me shortly mention about it. Uh, so it, it's in autumn 2018, uh, let's say at very early stage, uh, I developed an introductory tutorial on quantum computing and programming. Based on it, uh, I organized with my colleagues there two days workshops at my university. One was with Riga Tech Girls, a local uh, group uh, working with uh, women. And also one uh, group was the high school students. And then also I use uh, chance of the Erasmus Plus and I visit one city in Poland. So three times these workshops happened. Then uh, we noticed that it's working. It's uh, quite good. Uh, it was also fully hands-on uh, experience. Uh, they sit like two full days. Uh, it was around uh, six plus six, 12 hours that time. And uh, from the beginning until the end, 
there were let's say 20 25 percent theory but 75 percent uh, some coding exercise uh, or solving some tasks and uh, all participants engaged until the end uh, so overall idea was good then uh, we develop a further idea we told let's make it some international project we can travel uh, several countries and then organize workshops there and this is uh, our first international uh, projects of that time uh, we call it q drive uh, except turkey we indeed uh, drive by a car and we visit uh, in total eight countries and uh, organized 11 uh, the workshops i mentioned uh, through uh, i think it took some 80 days and we did by car more than 10,000 kilometers so it, it creates already uh, let's say awareness and indeed uh, this was also happened in uh, eastern europe uh, plus balkan countries of that time and during this time uh, we also develop idea of this uh, q world uh, we try to attract also some local people establish uh, q cousins at that time and at the end uh, five groups uh, we were let's say culatvia already there and we convinced four more uh, you see Kula, Q turkey hungary uh, balkans and poland then uh, we kind of started q world in this way also we make call uh, entangling q cousins project like inviting more and more cousins and uh, entangling with them uh, meanwhile we also structured ourselves uh, we define our departments uh, how we can develop uh, we define our codes uh, from the early stage also we had uh, we developed our first website uh, so then uh, we kind of started also globally that time so now i will mention uh, about these groups educational activities and also research activities Currently, we also have three active departments. Uh, the first one is Q Cousins departments. Uh, we start with five, but now I think it's uh, more than 20. And uh, hope that, uh, I mean, one of the aim uh, from the beginning have to 50 Q Cousins uh, by end of the 2023. Uh, maybe not next year, but maybe year after, who knows, maybe we can hit the 50. Here, uh, we classify them uh, based on the continents. Uh, still, uh, East, East Europe is the dominate. Uh, recently, we expand uh, wood in Africa. Uh, if we talk about population, I think Asia groups are already big. Uh, and also in uh, America, we start with Q Mexico, now Q Colombia joined us. And hopefully, we can have more uh, cousins over the time. Uh, maybe I can shortly mention how uh, we are entangling with new uh, local groups. Uh, over the time, we prepared a outline. Now many things is uh, written there already based on our experience. So this local group uh, prepare application. We have coordinators uh, for this process. And uh, this first group is reviewed. If uh, they are good enough, we are uh, scheduling entangling event. QWorld is the organizer. Uh, this candidate group is the host, uh, so we are also working together from the beginning, uh, exchange the knowledge also, and everything is uh, go fine. Uh, then we establish this cousin, and also we ask them yearly reporting themselves, because we don't want Q cousins just some quantum group. We also want them some active quantum group. Uh, I mean, we are already doing a lot of stuff under keyword. We also expect them uh, to do similar. And each year, I mean, this outline is also evolving. Uh, also, all experiences is sharing. Uh, so I think uh, it would be nice to join uh, this network. Uh, so workshops are maybe uh, the main activity from the beginning. Uh, we had uh, now four, set, four series of workshops. Uh, this Q bronze, the one I mentioned, kind of created four years ago. Uh, it is the main one. Uh, soon, I think we will uh, organize the hundred one. Also, for entangling workshop, we always use the Q bronze workshops. Uh, the idea is uh, teaching very basics uh, by giving enough time to the participants. Uh, so we don't use any complex numbers, for example. 
And even by using only real numbers, you can uh, really manage to explain uh, many things, basic protocols uh, and Grover search algorithm. Uh, we call it bronze from the beginning. And because we expect to have silver and gold, uh, finally, we also had silver last year. So Q silver, where we introduce the complex numbers and then block sphere uh, and then quantum Fourier transform and short factorization algorithm. So these together also form a course. Uh, and uh, as a part of silver also, uh, let's say our contributor developed uh, some uh, parts for uh, quantum algorithm using Oracle, but we noticed that it's already too much. Then we split it. So silver also come together with nickel. Uh, it's called Q nickel. We see it like a kind of advanced bronze. Uh, without introducing complex numbers, you can do some uh, advanced stuff still. Uh, also recently, uh, Q Turkey started uh, because we had some already notebooks. If they don't have enough Python knowledge or some basic math, uh, we prepare some notebooks, but also it, be it becomes a form of workshop now. Uh, now, even before Q-Bronze, if people need, can they can also have a Q-Prep and they can just review their Python programming and linear algebra knowledge. And also, uh, I want to mention about our first Q course. Uh, it was a, a, I mean, important step for us. It was also a nice experience. I want to shortly mention about it. So it was uh, designed as a graduate level course uh, on quantum programming, uh, computing and programming. We implemented fully online and we really use a lot of tools, uh, thanks to maybe current level of technologies. Uh, so for each, uh, let's say, issue you solve it with uh, some other tools. Uh, it's expected uh, one student should uh, spend 150 academic hours. It was a little heavy. Uh, it was collaboration with QWorld and also my faculty uh, because I already designed such a course in our uh, faculty. And then we open it through the QWorld. Uh, it was also part of the Q2Edu pilot program. And also thanks to Unitary Fund, I want to mention here, they also supported our course. We had two phases, first lectures and then term projects, and students can get 100 points, uh, seven points from the lecture phase, and then 30 points from the term project phase. So basically, it, it was based on our two tutorials, bronze and silver. And uh, we accepted more than 200 students, uh, but it was a uh, little heavy. Uh, so students also had their own, uh, let's say, uh, courses, etc. But still, hundred uh, managed to complete the lecture phase. It was uh, quite fascinating for us, and uh, we had eleven weeks of online lectures and online labs, and we uh, also expect them to complete ten online quizzes. Uh, also, several students start the project phase. At the end, uh, more than 50 completed with uh, more than 30 projects, and they had a one month for this. Uh, in parallel, we have optionally webinars each week. Uh, it can help. We expect them to develop some term projects based on these webinars, and it indeed helped. Also, we organized in between one Q jam. Uh, we thought that maybe in short time, some people, uh, some students can formulate their project easily. Uh, it worked for some of them. Uh, here are some interesting statistics. Uh, at the end, the completed people uh, were from the 25 countries. Uh, we also did announcement, let's say, not widely. Uh, so uh, probably this year we expect to start earlier and probably there will be more application. What one nice thing is our participants really from very young people, let's say some uh, senior people and our seven students really is uh, 39 years old or uh, yeah, uh, older. And here you see the statistics, even it was graduate program, almost half uh, was from the undergrad, uh, but still we access, let's say some 50 students from the graduate level. This was already good. Uh, here you see the, uh, uh, let's say, uh, departments. 
uh, they were computer scientists, engineer students, or physics students. Uh, the ratio of male and female was seven. I mean, thirty percent was female. Uh, this is also close to ratio in our uh, workshops. Hopefully, we can increase it also. Uh, at the beginning, almost two hundred students finish uh, like first quiz. But it's a little long, and at that 84 managed uh, to complete uh, last quiz. But average uh, grade of this all quizzes was 63. I think it was uh, kind of uh, in a normal course. What you will get is also should be some 60 or 70. Uh, and on average, people spend six hours uh, in their feedback form. We expect around eight, 10 hours, but they spend six hours. But of course, if you spend more, your grade would be higher. And if you spend less, even some people manage maybe with some four hours, uh, but then their grade also like lower than uh, expected. Uh, even, I mean, our course just, uh, let's say, contain the topics of a standard introductory. And we really try to be very slower. Uh, I mean, for each topic, we have a lot of tasks, notebooks, etc. Uh, I mean, we think that our materials are slow, but still uh, it was like for half it was normal, but the other half uh, saw it fast. Uh, that means that uh, there are huge interest outside for quantum computing. But if you put this uh, advanced level or elementary level immediately, probably they wouldn't manage. Even they expect maybe a slower uh, way of uh, teaching. And regarding difficulty also, half say it was difficult as they expected, but half say it was really more difficult. Uh, so uh, from research part, I think our internship uh, program uh, is the leading uh, activity. It's also fully online. Uh, it happens uh, on uh, summer, July and August. Uh, we find mentors, they offer projects, and then we get a, we got a collect application of interns and then assign a mentors with interns. Uh, in 2020, our uh, pi it was a pilot program. Uh, we also tried to understand how it can happen, etc. And still it was successful. We had 24 interns and 12 projects. Uh, last year, let's say it's uh, more serious. We had almost 20 interns and uh, close to 30 projects. Uh, and it was successful. Uh, probably the scale of uh, intern will be similar, uh, around 30 projects, 200 interns. Uh, one nice thing after uh, internship, still uh, some people continue their projects under Q research departments. Uh, some really present their work somewhere, also some publications appeared. Currently, we are looking mentors. If you are interested in, uh, please visit and fill the form. Uh, we are looking uh, any quantum topics mentors, uh, as long as it's scientific, of course. Uh, so until May of 21, still there are uh, two weeks, uh, you can apply. And then uh, in turn, if you are interested in internship, uh, this application will start in the June. Here, uh, I will not go through, but here you see some applications uh, somewhat uh, related to QWERTS program. I think there are even more here, here just a list we have. Uh, we also have a QWERTS quantum science days. Last year, we organized the first one. Uh, it was uh, quite success in our opinion. We had five, uh, uh, like, let's say, distinguished speakers. Also, we had 26 contributed talks uh, this year after uh, uh, four weeks, we also have the second edition uh, and the contributed talk submission is still open this Friday. You can, oh, it's Sunday, sorry. That lies in this Sunday. Uh, if, if you have some work to share uh, with the community, please submit it. And also here you see the list of uh, invited speaker. Probably we will have uh, one, two more uh, speakers. Uh, so it will be divergent topics uh, from, uh, I mean, uh, computer science to information. Uh, there will be also one talk about Q-intern Q-research by our member Pavel Gora, uh, because he had a big uh, intern project. And after last year, I mean, he continued with around 10 uh, interns. 
and now even they think maybe to uh, prepare a book all together and they also plan to propose uh, so so it's very nice experience if you join uh, this science days you can also listen from him uh, this year we also plan to give certificates to the participants uh, so we would be happy i mean if you have some uh, contributed talks please submit it so we also organized hackathons jams uh, contest uh, here uh, turkey lead uh, hackathons they had a really very nice experience uh, also from the beginning uh, if I, I think they had organized already four and recently last two years i guess they also focus uh, quantum games specifically and uh, to keep our uh, network active we also have some internal challenges for our cousins uh, for example in 2020 uh, we create a challenge at that time uh, 10 uh, 10 cousins or nine cousins organized 10 q bronze workshop we also organized one global workshop at that time now uh, we are uh, have a new challenge qc spring uh, 22 this time 20 cousins joined this uh, challenge uh, we also give a training program for q silver uh, then uh, we expect 12 uh, local Q bronze workshops and 13 Q silver workshops. So, uh, what we are looking for, uh, we are uh, we are non-profit, and uh, almost we are working uh, voluntarily. Uh, we are paying very basic stuff. Uh, I mean, uh, most of people, all this success because of our members and volunteers, they put just their time, dedicated time. I also would like to thank to them. Uh, so if you want to also volunteer for our events or taking some more responsibilities in our departments, you are welcome. So you can be knowledgeable. Uh, then maybe you can come with your idea or you can already join uh, our programs. For example, for internship, we are looking some mentors. You can already join in this way uh, or you plan to implement some online courses. You can come and uh, we can discuss how to implement it under QWorld. If you are a beginner, we recommend you first attend some of our events uh, and then through that, uh, you can, for example, become a mentor for next events, or from there you can apply uh, a new Q cousin application, or if there exists a Q cousin, you can join to them. Uh, so for beginners, we first suggest them to attend some events and then find a way uh, to just do more. Uh, we are also looking at uh, strategic partners, uh, so you can contribute uh, open quantum ecosystems through the keyword by becoming our strategic partners. We are also looking partners sponsoring our events and programs. And also, of course, as I told, uh, uh, we are just working volunteer based, but uh, it's not easy to continue in this way. Also, if you donate, we would be very grateful. OK, these are the things I explain. I think my time is also uh, exactly, I think. Uh, so thank you for now. Yes, for questions. Yeah, if you have some question. Okay, hi. So thank you. I had to wait until I was put back by the by the host. So sorry for a small delay. Thank you for the great talk. I'm uh, I'm I'm also part of of uh, keywords. I'm of course partial regarding uh, regarding the achievements and um, and um, our activities and um, um, we're looking so I'm, I'm checking the questions so there is a question at the Q&A and okay. Uh, as, okay so the question is are there any plans of Q course in other universities so these uh, Q courses are it open first of all I mean it was open globally uh, only we also link it to some available courses if people ask for credits. Uh, so it depends on the people. I mean, if you want a co local course open to globally, uh, so this course can be linked to some university and then open under the keyword. 
uh, uh, probably there will be little evaluation, of course. I mean, uh, this course is ready or not, enough materials, etc. Uh, basically, this connection to university is uh, implementation part. I mean, for reaching part, it's open. Globally open, it was. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I also maybe I can also say like two words. So uh, so we currently we have I remember two Q course, right? So the question. So one of the answers was that yes, we would be happy to expand on this, and if if there are people volunteering to open new types of courses, then it's uh, then then we will come to include it in our program. And also, um, the this Q course was held in uh, in uh, these two Q courses were held in with cooperation with the University of Latvia. But we're also open to other universities for cooperation on 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 running other instances of these Q courses. So um, we're um, we're still on time. If there are any questions, yeah. If you apply for an intern, the question is. If I apply to be an intern, will I get paid and have a travel budget? It is it is online. It's uh, coming for free. Uh, we are not company. Uh, we are not like uh, IBM or something also kind of benefited. Uh, this is more like uh, helping people uh, to be able to some level of research also. For, I mean, if you apply to IBM, if already accepted, of course you can go there, uh, but this is not uh, possible for everyone. And people still want to introduce and do something more than education. So this uh, Q intern program create opportunity for you in short time, you can little dive into research. Uh, it's uh, kind of beneficial for uh, individuals and it's coming for free. Uh, so it's not like, uh, uh, like we are company and benefiting it. It's kind of we are giving this opportunity. Uh, yeah, the motto is can... written on this. Yeah, yes. Uh, our motto is written on this on on the slide, which is visible, which and it says we are working to build an open quantum ecosystem, and uh, this is how we intend to contribute to this goal or achieve it. We can also provide signed documents, so you can maybe still uh, make it like your official internship, by the way. It can be still beneficial in this way. Yeah, you can get the credit if you need credit. All right, thank you very much. And um, thank, you. thank you, Abu. And um, see you in the next talk, which will be starting in two minutes. Okay, thank you.